We're going to start though by looking at uh, Newton's laws of motion. So there's three uh, laws that the Newton put together, and they tell us how things move effectively. So I'll see if anybody knows what any of them are, and we'll, we'll get them up on the board, and then um, we'll start looking at some of the formulas that govern them. So anybody for any takers for any of Newton's laws of motion? The third one, we're going to start with the third one. Okay, mate, what's the third one? Okay, so that's the general expression of it. Is every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So that, that's the general expression of it. Uh, what it's really saying in slightly more accurate language is that any two objects um, in contact, if object A is pushing on object B, and object B is pushing back on object A is equal and opposite reaction. So, so there with um, objects pushing against each other, but that's the general expression of it. Yep, it's an equal and opposite reaction that'll, that'll do. If you're asked to write Newton's third law in an exam, I'm sure if you scroll back down, they'll give you an answer for it. Okay, any takers for number one and Ewan? Okay, this is number one. Yep, okay. Um, so, an object at rest or in motion will stay at rest or, what did you say, in uniform motion? Yeah, we'll go for uniform. Unless acted on by an external force. Yep, okay, so that's saying that something which has stopped doesn't start moving by itself, and something which is already moving doesn't stop moving by itself, or doesn't speed up, or doesn't change direction. It keeps on doing exactly what it's done, unless it's acted on by an external force. And that, that's a little bit counterintuitive. That, that first one. Um, things that are stopped, staying stopped, we, we agree with that. So a bottle of water doesn't suddenly start moving, it, it stays as it is. But the idea that things that are going in uniform motion keep going in uniform motion isn't what we experience in day to day. So if I, if I throw this whiteboard marker in a straight line, it doesn't keep on going in a straight line, it does a curve. Um, you look at a car on the road and you, you know, take your foot off the gas and put the clutch in and keep on coasting, you don't keep on going forever, you actually slow down. So in both those situations, there should be an external force acting. Okay? So when I throw the, the thing, the external force is gravity, which means that gravity acts on it, it starts to drop, it doesn't just carry on the straight line. Um, <coughs> when your car is going along, the external force is, is friction between the car on the road, which slows it down, so it, it changes the, the motion, it doesn't keep going in uniform motion. So Newton's law says that it will carry on in uniform motion unless there's an external force acting on it. Cool. Um, any idea, anyone, for the second one? Awesome. Okay, that'll do for the second one. Um, okay, so this is basically the rule that ties up the first one how the force, so the external force, is F. That's going to cause a change in velocity, which is what we call acceleration, and those two things are related by the formula F equals MA. So force is mass times acceleration. That's the, the formula that relates those two things together. So in terms of uh, units here, what are we going to measure? Force, mass, and acceleration. Which units are we going to use for each of these things? Force is going to be measured in Newtons. Newton? Yep, named after Sir Isaac himself. Yep. Mass is clearly going to be the normal kilograms. And acceleration, well done, meters per second squared. Okay, so we have some basic units for, for each of these things that we can, we can use. 
Yep, so these are Newton's three laws. As I said, you may get an exam question that asks you to um, recall or write down any of those. And the one that we're going to do most of the work with is, is the second one for this stage where I actually use that formula a bit. Um, you've already used the third one quite a lot when you talked about like beam reactions and things. So if the beam's pushing down with 20 newtons and the reaction's going to be pushing up with 20 newtons, so it's not going up or down, it's balanced. So there's a net zero force, so it's actually a verb. So we've played with that one a little bit already. Okay, Newton's laws of motion. 